Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence, culture scarps tracking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Until they covered a massive root of massive the long reeds, which fell off and great swamp to the north, the land called Aslanga. At the end of one reed, there grew a man. His name was Unkalunkalu, known as the first ancestor, and the great one, very small at first, he grew so large and heavy that he snapped off the end of the reed. Walking across the land of Athlanga, he noticed men and women were sprouting at the ends of the other reeds. He picked them from the reeds. These people were the first humans, the ancestors of all nations of the Zulu journeyed south to the Fertile journeyed south today. The Great One continued to walk among the reeds. He saw many forms of life growing at the end of them. He gathered the fish and flung them into the rivers. Fields and forests began to grow. So he harvested birds and antelope, and they darted off into the wild. He picked cattle so they could be used by humans. He plucked off a ball of fire and a round glowing stone and flung them into the sky. These were the sun and moon. Light came into the world, the great weather lands hunt and prey. The light! Creatures, some good and some bad. One was the snake, like goddess of the rivers, Mamlambo. Rumored by some Zulu to drown people, eat their faces, and suck out their brains. Another goddess was Mava Mwana Waresa, a beautiful woman who created rain and rainbows, and who invented farming and gave the Zulu the gift of beer. The Zulu Odyssey extends beyond the bounds of mere chronicles, spiraling into the realms of mythology and some of the intricate mosaic, from the intricate mosaic, mosaic, vibrant beads, the Zulu saga unfolds as an eternal dialogue with the cosmos. Spirituality, the transcendent heartbeat of the Zulu soul, Orchestrates a cosmic symphony where ancestors and the living commune in the sacred space of ritual. The Sangomas, custodians of ancient wisdom, traverse the liminal spaces, invoking the metaphysical forces that bridge relation. A goes the story of a people. A Embody the poetry of heritage, threading through time with the eloquence of identity. The Zulu aesthetic, a kaleidoscopic dance of colors, manifests as a living canvas painted with the hues of tradition, a testament to the enduring vitality of cultural expression. Education, an illuminating pilgrimage, propels the Zulu narrative through the corridors of knowledge, from the ancient scrolls of wisdom to the modern font of academia and expedition. The pursuant by an inexplicable question, transcending temporal boundaries to embrace the eternal flame of enlightenment. The Amuzi The Amuzi a pulsating nexus of communal life resonates with the harmonies of shared existence. Homesteads, architectural embodiments of tradition, 
echo with the rhythms of collective rituals. An ongoing saga where daily practices etch the narrative of interconnected lines. The Zulu people went into the fabric of community, find strength in amicacy. Paul Virgin with the vitality of exchange, where goods become conduits for the transmission of narratives. Entrepreneurship, etched into the cultural lexicon, extends beyond the marketplace, embodying the craftsmanship and artistry that define the Zulu economic tapestry. Battles and conquests, etched in the annals of Zulu history, embody the indomitable spirit of warriors. The Amabutho, Disciplined, resolute, agilitarian, see, and engraved in the.